Are you ready for a new location for your all-inclusive vacation? Dreams Playa Bonita in Panama might be the best choice. You'll find a great beach that disappears at high tide and you can go sloth hunting right on the property. Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie. Welcome to Dreams Playa Bonita. Panama. This is a great family all-inclusive resort for people who want to try something new. They want to go to a new location. Now, it's a little simpler. It doesn't have quite all the amenities as the Dreams Resorts we visited in Mexico, but I'm going to take you on a resort tour so you get a better sense of exactly what this resort has to offer. The resort is located 40 minutes from the Panama City Airport, and one really cool thing is you actually cross over the Panama Canal on the ride from the airport. One important thing to know about this resort is the tides. So see how you can see the bottom of this little palapa? Well, the tides go in and out to a pretty extreme extent here. Uh, let me show you. This is the view when the tide is out. All right, so let's take a resort tour. We'll start our tour in the lobby where you would enter coming from the airport. If you go all the way to the right down the hallway, you'll find the fitness center. So the fitness center has pretty much what you would need to stay in shape during your visit. It's pretty simple. It has a number of different machines as well as free weights. Now back in the lobby, we're going to head kind of around the corner from where you walk in to find Coco Cafe. This is your location for specialty coffees and teas, as well as sweet treats throughout the day. So they have sweet treats in the morning and then they move to sandwiches midday. They also offer ice cream between noon and 8 p.m. And yeah, it's tucked right next to the main doors to leave. There's also the bathrooms. These are the closest bathrooms to the entrance. And heading down the hallway, we're going to find some different gift shops that have souvenirs, things you may have forgotten, maybe some jewelry you want to buy, as well as handicrafts, and the offices for the vacation clubs. So this is that, you know, pay a bunch of money, stay for the rest of your life club. Heading back into the main area of the lobby. This is kind of the hub in the evenings. This is where people will hang out. It's really the only bar where you can sit down that's open in the evenings. The bar is circular, so there's lots of bar stools all around it. I will say the alcohol, I wouldn't call it premium. Um, there are some brands we as Americans didn't recognize, so just keep that in mind. And then this area is where they'll have your evening shows. So they had all different types of shows. They had karaoke one night. They had this uh, dancing show, a lot of things about the history and culture of Panama. Now to find out when the shows are, you can use this board that's right here in the lobby. It'll show the different upcoming events. Sorry, it doesn't video very well, but you'll also be given a QR code when you check in and this will help you access the sundial. So that's that daily newsletter that tells you when everything's going to be open, what the activities are, and when the nightly entertainment is going to be. So this is the check-in area. When you arrive, you'll check in here unless you've booked a preferred club room, and I'll show you that lounge in a little bit. Heading down this small hallway, we're going to find two of the a la carte restaurants. So a la carte means sit down, order off a menu. They're open for dinner. No reservations are required. The resort has two wings, the canal wing on the right. Yes, you can see ships queuing up to take their turn going through the Panama Canal. And then here, the rainforest wing on the left. I think they just tell you that so you can remember which elevators to take. Portofino is the a la carte Italian restaurant. It's open in the evenings for dinner. Then right beyond that, we're going to take a peek down right under us is the kids club. So this is a supervised kids club and you can see they have a big playground area with a lot of different climbing options, um, different things to play outside. You can drop your kids off and then come back and pick them up later. Bordeaux is the a la carte French restaurant. Now this does have the most strict dress code. So you want to make sure that men bring long pants, collared shirt and shoes, dress shoes. Now I think they would let you in with nice sandals, but we'll see. I really enjoyed the French onion soup, but it didn't have the cheesy topping like we're used to other places. And I had a very good steak here. So this is a good spot for steak in the evening. Now coming back around, we're going to take one more look at that canal wing and head back to the lobby. Across the way here is the concierge desk. This is also where some of the folks who work for the vacation club station themselves throughout the day. And then right across from that is the tour desk. So if you wanted to book any excursions or depending how you booked your package, you may need to reconfirm your airport transfer here. Market Cafe is the buffet. It was open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner during our stay. And it's a large, simple buffet. You can see some of your favorites here with the fruit, the different fresh squeezed juices. 
You can make your own salad. I do love that about all-inclusive buffets, cereal, and then all different types of sauces, depending on what kind of dish you get. There's also a made-to-order omelet station. That was very popular. That always had a little bit of a line. And then your breads station. Outdoor seating with a view of the resort is also available. So heading out of Market Cafe and around the corner, we're going to find the business center. This is where you can make a copy. Also, if you're there for a convention, you're going to probably spend some time here. The bathrooms are also located here. These are the closest ones to the Market Cafe and an ATM. So now we're going to head and check out the Preferred Club Lounge. So you can take a peek at that. So heading back into the lobby, there's an elevator right here next to the door to the business center, and that will take us up a level to level two. There are elevators located throughout the resort, making it very uh, mobility friendly. You could definitely take a walker or a wheelchair throughout most of the resort. Here is the entrance to the Preferred Club Lounge. Now, Preferred Club is a category of room you book in advance that gives you access to extra amenities as well as spaces. So this is the Preferred Club Lounge. You can see it has upgraded alcohol. If you care about the brand of alcohol you're drinking, I highly recommend upgrading to Preferred Club. Because as I said before, in the main bars, there are a couple brands, a lot of brands we didn't as Americans recognize. So if this is something important to you, you definitely want to upgrade to Preferred Club. In the preferred club they have little snacks in the evenings and throughout the day they had hot appetizers at night as well as a really nice dessert setup it's an air-conditioned space it has televisions so it is a nice place to hang out in the evening because again the alternative is down at the lobby bar there aren't a ton of evening bars here so here's a look they had little sandwiches as well as different desserts available next to the preferred club lounge is the spa they do have a thermal suite area with a sauna and then heading out you'll down the hallway you're going to find the the lasso therapy room with the different tubs uh, with different temperatures as well as the jets um, so this is a great option you can add it onto a treatment or book it by itself there's also a steam room you can use now we're going to head down to C. So this is the lowest level. This is the pool level coming out. This area is used in the evenings to have a kid's movie night every night. It also kind of turns into a disco party area for the late night. There's a pool table, a beautiful staircase, and then uh, Instagram worthy photo moment. I, I think it's so funny that all these resorts have added these little spaces, but it does make for a fun photo shoot. Here you also find the door to the kids club. Remember we kind of looked down from above and saw the playground areas. Um, the hours will be listed in the sundial. This is also where the convention rooms and meeting rooms are located. Now back up to the lobby, we're going to head out and really explore the outdoor portion of the resort. So here's some great outdoor seating just right to the other side of the lobby bar. This area was really popular at night. And then another view of the beautiful resort. Now, one thing I did want to mention about the dining, I think if you have a lot of very sensitive food allergies, you may struggle a bit at this resort if you don't speak Spanish. Uh, a lot of the staff knew quite a bit of English, but there were still some language barriers which is my fault. I am going to another country. I should learn to speak that country's language. I totally know that and I feel terrible about it. But just if you do have some food allergies, you may want to keep that in mind. So there's a nice little photo opportunity there as you kind of walk to the right out of the lobby bar with the swing. And then here's a look at the rooms, um, how they look. They all face the ocean side. Um, this, this is the canal side as we discussed before. And I really love how they kept all the vegetation. Now look at those little flags. This this is a cool little putting green. So if you wanted to keep up with your golf game, you can do it right here in front of this building. Um, they have a lot of activities here on site to keep you busy and a huge lawn space. So if you have a little one that loves to run around, you're going to have plenty of space to do that here at the resort. These little lanterns light up in the evening, making it really a beautiful space. Again, I just, I really love the look of this resort, all the vegetation. It's extremely well kept. Um, my husband always checks the palm trees to make sure they're properly cleaned and dreams uh, got a a plus seal of approval heading around the corner here this is the dog relief area yes small dogs are allowed i couldn't find the exact pound limit so you may want to check with your travel agent or call the resort 
to make sure your dog is small enough. And then again, you know, whatever the rules are for flying a dog into Panama. Now, all the way to the right, as we're facing the ocean, there is another terrace area. So this would be a great spot if you're hosting a private reception. Maybe if you're having your wedding here, this would be one of the areas where you could come. You could even have a small wedding right here. While we're on this side of the resort, let me show you the room we stayed in. This is room 440. This was a preferred club ocean view master suite. So right when you walk in, you'll find a half bath, which is great. <laughs> I love each of us having our own bathroom. It was kind of funny. We couldn't get hand towels. We could only get small little washcloths or big towels. Um, so there's a couple little quirky things about the resort. A nice dining table for four. You had a little sink as well as a coffee maker. You got bottled water daily, coffee daily. And then this is the mini bar that's included. Uh, you can see it's a local beer brand Atlas as well as uh, sodas and juices, and then your bottled water that comes. You also got two little tiny bottles of liquor as part of being in the preferred club. Heading out into the living room area, you have a TV as well as a sofa and a chair. This is not a sofa bed. Um, I think you can kind of see around the resort, some things are a little bit tired or showing their wear and tear a little bit. And one place you can really tell this is out here on the balcony. These chairs really need to get <laughs> replaced. They could do so much better. Uh, but the view is great. Um, as we talked about at the beginning of the video, this is where the tide is in the process of going out, I believe. So you can see uh, the beach kind of comes and goes, and then you have a view of the resort heading all the way down. You are all the way at the end of the building. Heading into the bedroom area, we can see the large king size bed. You have nightstands on either side. You also have a nice chaise, which I always use to put all of our stuff. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments. Um, do you ever sit on those or does it become a spot for all your stuff? You have a separate TV in the bedroom, which is great. And then a nice desk area, a chair for actually sitting on. Uh, outlets on both sides. We were able to use our North American plugs, no problem. And then a nice big bathroom area. So you have the two sinks uh, with outlets there as well. And then a large walk-in closet. Um, to hang up all your great clothes and that's where you're going to find your safe as well as the ironing board heading into the bathroom area you have the toilet and shower all in the same room it was a nice shower it had really good shower pressure and temperature and then a jetted tub and the windows are incredible so you're all the way at the end so you, if you open all the shades you get this great panoramic view now the trick to this resort is the room service the room service is phenomenal. We actually started going back to our room for lunch. Uh, these are the batting cages. So like I said before, there are a lot of different activities on site. Um, they have the batting cages. They also have archery. Um, they have a nice list of activities going on within the sundial. So if you wanted to keep busy. Now, one thing to know about this resort is there's not a lot of shade available. They don't have a lot of umbrellas next to the pool. So you'll see as we kind of go around this area, a lot of people will bring lawn chairs over here to enjoy the shade of the trees. This is Panama. So you are almost at the equator. It is hot all year round and it is very hot. We got sunburn and we are really good about wearing swim shirts and reapplying sunscreen. So if you're a person who's sensitive to sun, definitely keep this in mind. Come prepared with sun shirts, uh, extra sunscreen hats, and just know that there's not a lot of shade as you're sitting around the pool. Now we're going to head to the left as you're facing the ocean and check out more of the resort. This sand area, they have a volleyball net you can see there. They also played soccer or football, depending on where you're from. You can see there's some palapas down there. That's also where you they have some non-motorized sports. But remember, because of the tide, there's a very limited amount of time you can actually go out into the ocean, and it's quite rocky. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, definitely want to bring some water shoes if you want to go out and explore. A lot of people would go out and explore while the tide was out uh, to check the little tide pools, look for shells. So bring shoes that you can wear out there to protect your feet. Now coming up here is another one of the a la carte restaurants. This is Oceana, the seafood restaurant. It was open for dinner during our stay. And it also had a small little buffet for breakfast on some days. So the restaurant has a great view of the Infinity Edge family pool. This pool is 
fantastic. I love how big it is. I love that it has an infinity edge. I love that it has a shallow area. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at that in a minute, but it's a great, great pool. Here's the indoor seating. It is air conditioned. So in the evenings, um, kind of keep the bugs away. And then here's that small little breakfast buffet. If you want to stay away from all the excitement happening in the main market cafe. We did have a nice dinner here. This was the best dinner we had at the resort. The ceviche was delicious. I got the mixed seafood grill. The octopus was a little overcooked, so was the shrimp, but the flavors were very good. And then my husband got a local white fish that was cooked perfectly. So great, great dinner. So here's a closer look at the pool I was talking about. So you can see these little huts kind of palapa things are the only areas for shade and you can't really move it as the day goes on. So it's hard to stay in the shade uh, for a long period of time, but lots of entry points to the pool and a beautiful infinity edge. As we're walking around, you might notice a lot of towels on the chairs because of the lack of shade. The towel game here is very strong. This was about eight o'clock in the morning. People had already been here putting out towels on chairs, trying to save them. And it's annoying. I know it's annoying, but I will say the staff was incredible. If you just let any of the pool attendants know you were looking for a chair, they would try to find you one. They would go get you a chair uh, from a lo another location, move it to where you wanted to be. You can see they set up chairs and anywhere there's really grass, you can sit there. This smaller pool is kind of the kiddie pool. It's more shallow. It's where kids were hanging out. Uh, then you have closer to the swim up bar. So we're heading towards that Palapa where the swim up bar that tended to be more adults, but you can see there's tons of chairs here available in the sun. But if you do want a shaded seat, it is at a premium here. Um, you have these nice walkways out to the middle of the pool. And then here is the swim up bar. So you can see the bar stools in the water. Um, and then the most shaded chairs are going to be right here along the restaurant. So here we'll come around the corner. And I'll show you, this is uh, this the grill, the seaside grill. And then the, this row of chairs is going to be your most shaded row of chairs. And as you can see, it's completely covered by towels of people saving their seats. Now, this was open only for lunch during our stay. I think um, when it's busier, it also opens for dinner. It was a buffet for lunch. It was extremely busy. People were waiting 20 to 30 minutes in line just to get inside. That's why we decided to head back to our room and have room service lunch. Plus, the room service lunch was delicious. It was some of the best food we had on the resort. I was astounded by it. It came fresh. You can order it through the app. There's an app you can download um, and you can order your room service through the app. It comes exactly one hour from the time you ordered it. It says you can put in a time when you'd like it to be delivered, but we found no matter what time you put in, like if you wanted it to come later, it came one hour from the time you placed the order. So we just started eating room service. We ate room service for breakfast and lunch, and then we would go out for dinner. So highly, highly recommend the room service. Around the corner from the Seaside Grill is the Preferred Club Adults Only Pool. So this is another perk of booking that Preferred Club category room. You have access to this pool area. And they did check um, the, bar, the bartender would come around and kind of ask people their names or room numbers. Uh, once he knew your face, he didn't ask you again. So maybe you've been there and you thought they weren't asking people, but during our stay, they did ask people. Coming around to the backside of the Seaside Grill is the Barefoot Grill. This was one of the more challenging places to place an order. They didn't have a menu and uh, the English was not super strong with the person who worked there as I don't expect it to be. Remember, we're in another country. But so it was hard to figure out kind of what they had. You kind of had to watch and see what other people were getting to find out what was on the menu. But otherwise, it was just kind of nachos, burgers, hot dogs. And the nachos were really popular. In fact, one woman every day when the Barefoot Grill would open, she'd come running around being like, it's nacho time. So the nachos were very good. So here is the adults only preferred club pool. This was a quiet pool. It was very chill. In fact, one day, a couple of folks had their own personal stereo and they were playing music and someone came over and told them to turn it off. So they do try to keep this an adults only chill space. Um, you can see there's stairwell, stairwell there down to the beach area. Um, if you wanted to head down there and hang out and then these kind of oceanfront seats under the palm tree were really popular. Otherwise people just kind of grab seats all around. A lot of people just kind of threw their stuff to the side and hopped into the pool. This is the beach. There are not bar waiters that walk around the preferred club pool, um, only the main pool. So you would just come up to the bar 
and get a drink from the bartender. They did have all of the premium alcohol down here, which was great. So here's another view down at the beach area as the tide is kind of going out, I think, at that point. Um, and this big palapa does offer a lot of shade, and they try to fit as many chairs under here as possible. This is your option for chair for shade all day long. This uh, kind of grass area does have the option for having a private event. Um, you can also have a private event under that palapa. And then you have this huge terrace where this would be kind of a big event. So think multiple tables, maybe a little stage, maybe a DJ, um, more beach area here if you just kind of wanted to hang out on the beach. And then that, that apparently is a helicopter landing pad, which I thought was interesting <laughs> that they had that available. So you can see here, see this end, these are the master suites. So remember we used to show that kind of round window, that's all available there. Now here is the secret area where the sloths hang out. Actually, you can see them all around the resort. Some people even saw them on their drive in but this was the highlight for me was being able to just walk back from the scene and get so close to them don't touch them do not touch them but um, this is zoomed in a little bit but just being able to hang out and see sloths was just a total highlight for me I was so excited I think I stayed there for about half an hour just watching the sloths until they all kind of fell to sleep when we were there they had babies um, with them so it's absolutely wonderful a huge perk of staying in Panama staying at the resort so here's a little a little baby and a mama as they're kind of climbing around the trees um, there is a member of the staff that kind of keeps an eye out for them um, so if you have any questions you can definitely ask them or need help finding them just go ask any member of the staff and they will connect you to him and then he'll show you kind of where they're hanging out that day so you can have a chance to enjoy some time with the sloths but huge, huge perk of staying here at the resort. So overall, I think it's a good all-inclusive. A lot of people were talking about how it's not exactly the standard of other dreams, but it has a lot of unique special features like sloths. So I hope you enjoyed this video and here's two more I and YouTube think you might like.